Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to part 7, I think, of the Pokemon Black Nuzlocke. Last time, we battled Berg, and look, 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 I already put the third gym badge down there. Look, that, that's, that's incredible. Because <laughs> I think I forgot last time. But we battled the third gym, and then we uh, battled our rivals and Team Plasma, and so off screen I did all the, the Castellia City crap. It's a lot of it. It really, really is. It kind of sucks. I literally just stopped recording like an hour and a half ago just to do all the Castellia City crap. So, new items, that's why. Uh, level ups that weren't there before, that's why. Sorry, for the record, nothing really important happened. It would have just been like two or three parts of me wandering around talking to over a hundred different NPCs. According to Bulbapedia, the number is 127, I think. It's a lot of people. So, yeah. So, let's go over our team. We got Ruben the Rock and Roll at level 23. He's modest. He likes to run. He's got the quick claw so he can run faster. And because, you know, he runs so fast, he doesn't brag about it. But, you know, yeah, yeah. He's got a Rock Blast, Headbutt, Smackdown, and Mud Slap. We put Mud Slap down there at the bottom so he don't use it. And then he's got Sturdy, and look at those stats. <laughs> yeah. But his attack and his defense are pretty good. I mean, his attack could be better, but nah. Eh. Then we have Matt Pat the Watchhog. He's crazy, guys. He is absolutely crazy. He's quiet though, he's got a sturdy body, you can't knock MatPat down. He's got Retaliate, Crunch, Hypnosis, and Cut. Yeah, yeah, he's got Akina. Moving on, we have Renzi the Lipard, level 24. She's relaxed, she's mischievous, she's holding that Amulet coin because you know she likes money. And <laughs> that sounds horrible, but I don't mean it like that. She's got Pursuit, Fake Out, Grass Knot, and Sand Attack. The only reason I might keep her in the team is for Grass Knot, to be honest. Because that move comes in handy. Because it's the only move to beat water types we have. <laughs> so, she might be staying in the team. I don't know yet. But yeah, she's limber. Her, her stats aren't that bad. I mean, they're not that good, but eh. We got Darunia, the Darumaka. And uh, yeah, he's lonely. He's highly persistent. He's holding the Eviolite. Yes. Is it all the Castellia City crap? I found the Eviolite. Eviolite, however you want to pronounce it. So his putrid defense stats have actually increased. Which is actually really good to know. He's got Fire Punch, Headbutt, Fire Fang, and Facade. He hustles because that's what Darunia does. He hustles right into that battle with Volvagia just to get eaten. That's what he do. <laughs> <laughs> and he's lonely because all his people got, you know, put in cages. It's it's pretty bad, guys. But yeah, Dronia's actually pretty good. So, yeah. Then we have Raven, the impish tranquil. She likes to relax. She's holding the scope lens. So, in seriousness, does the scope lens and super luck stack? Or does, does it basically cancel each other out? Because I'm thinking, because Air Cutter is already a high critical weight ratio move, if they stack, then it might make up for her mediocre special attack stat. <laughs> but yeah, she's got Air Cutter, Quick Attack, Leer Roost. It's an okay move pull, but that's our team. So yeah, in this part, the goal is to basically do the desert. Will we do it all in this part? I really don't know. Okay, so avoid the darker sand. But of course, naturally, you know, <laughs> take a few steps and we get darker sand. And another Darumaka. This is actually where we ran into him, so that makes sense. I figured they were a little rarer than, than this, but I don't know why I never used one before. And of course, we can't run away. Can we, can we run away now, please? Please? Thank you. We're like eight levels above him. So we're just gonna explore the desert a little bit, guys. Um, this part might be a little dull, and I'm sorry if you think it's dull, but I mean, we gotta do it. 
not really, but like, I want to do it. I want to catch these, well, not catch these Pokemon, I want to battle these Pokemon. And you know, a filler part every once in a while doesn't hurt, okay? It really doesn't. So, we are going to get Ruben out of there. But we learned how to beat water types off screen. The answer is Renzi. So Renzi, if you're watching this, you finally have a purpose in the team. Do you really want to be out of the team now? Look, 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 watch this, right? You all grass not, this Basculin. <laughs> and he doesn't die. Sorry. Now I can't fake out. Yeah. <laughs> Renzi, you, you still might end up in the, uh, the box. And another Basculin. I, I guess we just keep Frenzy out there. I don't know, he did a lot of damage, so... I don't know. I don't know, guys. Oh, Bite. Okay, okay, there we go. You're a new trainer, clearly, if you're using Bite on a Dark type. Um... Oh, well, this might have just gotten interesting. Whew! Okay. Okay, I saw that Aqua Jet coming and I'm like, it's over. <laughs> it's over. But Renzi's still alive. Whoa, Renzi's still alive, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that was pretty graphic. Um, I'm kind of surprised she made it, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna use the Hyper Potion. We have a revive. I wasn't cheating. We found it in Castellia City. So. And it's just sitting there. I haven't thought. I didn't think to go sell it yet. So. We don't have a fishing rod. Once we get the fishing rod, which I don't think you do to post game, we can go back and make all these encounters. But that's post game. So. Nah. I'm, I'm gonna be daring. I wanna say Ruben will be able to survive and Yeah, because he didn't go for it. <sighs> Naturally. Naturally, guys. Naturally. We're gonna flinch. Yep. Whatever. We're gonna send Renzi out there. She's gonna grasp. Well, actually, she's gonna fake him out. And then she on grass not him. That way he's dead without doing any damage to us. I mean, it's kind of weird they put all these water trainers down here on the desert route. Like, huh? I don't quite get the point of that. But another Basculin. Actually, let's get some, uh, let's spread that experience a little bit. We'll send Raven out there. Let Raven kill one or two of these. You know. Maybe I go heal. I don't know. Because I know there's a trainer who heals you. I want to say there is, at least. On this route. So if we can find them, that'd be freaking amazing. Because I don't feel like making that trek back and forth. Back and forth to go heal. So come on, Air Cutter. Get a Air Cutter's still not a critical hit. Really? And your headbutt gets a critical hit. Right. Adds up. Raven's level 25. That's good stuff. And roommate's still coughing. Some things don't have a change. I'll send Matt Pat out there. I looked up Elisa's levels, which I don't know if you guys frown on, but like, come on, like, I, I gotta know what I'm about to get myself into. And her ace is 27, I believe. So we might actually be okay, but I remember her gym being a pain in the tuchus. I remember that because, she, thanks, thanks game. One, one turn he sleeps, one. But um, I remember she has the Mulgas that use Volt Switch. And because she also has the Zeb Strika that has um, Flame Charge. Flame Charge, I think, is the move. So, 
we're gonna be in a weird spot battling her. I, I remember actually having trouble with her gym on a normal playthrough. So, it's just something to keep track of. Am I too concerned? No, not really. But, you know, there's a little bit of concern there. But we might end up being overleveled by the time we get there. So, uh, you know, we have the item finder, don't we? There's got to be something down here. Dowsing machine. Let's register that. Yeah, I figured there'd be something down here. You can't just have us come down here for nothing. Oh, does that mean a pearl? That's worth money, so... That's not that bad. Uh, we can go north. There's an item over here. An ultra ball. Okay, okay. Sign me up, sign me up. Um, is the Pokemon in le our lead? Uh, okay, okay. Ruben's in a decent amount of health. Got a decent amount of health, if English weren't today. Okay, a great ball. That's okay, I guess. Okay, okay. Battle me. Bring it on. Parasol Lady April. More water types. Okay. Um, I know it has bubble bean. Know that. This is getting a little ridiculous, all the water types. Because, like, half of our team is leveling up, and then the other half we can't even send out. I, mean, I guess it's only the third trainer, but still, I hate Temple so much. But I freaking hate Tim Temple. Because they confuse you, and then you start hitting yourself, and then they use Bubble Beam, which is stat. I don't understand who... Who thought this was a good move pull for a Pokemon at like level 14? To where basically it can blow you back. It gets old really fast. You got a one Tim pole, you gotta go heal every freaking time. Like, look at that, it did 12 damage. Like, come on. And then well, let's see, we're gonna hit this time, right? Nope. So there we go, there's two turns. Mud shot, cool. That's how much that does. Not very much. Okay. Um, I guess we go for another grass knot. Oh, good. We actually hit this time. Cool. I don't understand why they actually made Tim Bowl good. I'll, I'll never understand that because how much you remember when it evolves? It's not that good because it learns, starts on mediocre moves. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But like. It, that is too much of a risk for a what like equates to like a polywag if you if you really think about it. All right, we're gonna go for a grass knot. Did we not use fake out? Okay, and then we should survive. And then we can heal again. Just, just a reminder, guys. Look, look at your screen. Look, look, look what we're battling. We've had to heal twice. We have a super effective move. We had to heal twice. I hate Tim Pole so much. Like, come on. Why is it so OP? Okay. We took care of her. Um, I guess we go get that item. A hyper potion. crap. Well, hopefully this one doesn't have a water type because we keep not healing. Hi, Reesey. Oh, you brought me the toy? I appreciate that, Reesey. I do. Are you a good girl? Yeah, you are. I guess we're in a mud slap. Let's see how much his best move does. That's that modest rock and roller right there. Okay. 
yeah. Uh, Ruben should evolve in the next level, I think. I think I didn't double check. But that, that gets me excited, you know? Doesn't get you guys excited? Really? I don't know what evolves into. <laughs> My Gen 5 is very mediocre. Very mediocre. But, yeah, he's got Mud Slap, thank god. We're gonna beat this rock and roll up. I took five mud slaps. It's his best move, don't worry, because he's modest, guys. A timber? Oh god. Um Let's just brute strength him. I mean we got Darunia, he's got the Evilite. Evilite. One fire punch will do him, man. Because we also got hustle. And his hex that's already really high. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I hope he keeps hustle. Another rock and roll, uh, really. And again, the annoying thing is that the only Pokemon who has actually something that's useful against him is Renzi. <laughs> I hope you guys can't hear that coughing too bad. I really do. Calm down, Racy. I should have went with Fake Out. Yeah, I didn't think that through too well. My mindset was I was like, well then we'll get hit by the Sandstorm. But I should have known better. Of course he has, um, Sturdy. I don't know what else he would even have. Come on. This is why I hate Rock Blast. Have you ever noticed how Gen 5 does this though? Like, every battle is annoying. Of course, he used Mud Slap one time, and now he missed twice. Just think about that next time, you know, it's our turn to use Mud Slap. Three misses! We are actually in danger now. Cool, cool. A 1 HP Rock and Rolla is putting in the finest on us. This is Gen 5 in a nutshell. Ray messaged me and he's like, you really don't like Gen 5, do you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is garbage. Why? 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 Why does he keep lowering my accuracy? Okay, I'm, I'm fast forwarding. Ridiculous! Thank you! Oh my god! I really, really wish somebody would count how many times we missed fighting a Rock and Roller with one HP! It's over there. Um, I don't think the medic is over there. We are really low on HP. Just like all around, everybody's low. Except for Darunia. So, I'm gonna try... Let's go be healed. <laughs> so that way we don't die. And of course, naturally, uh, Ruben is low. We're, we're, we're just gonna have to heal in battle. Cause like... <laughs> get all the health. Oh, Gen 5 sucks. Uproar, that shouldn't do that much. That's a special attack, right? Okay. Okay. Um, we'll just smack him down, I guess. Come on. This is a wild Pokemon battle. And it's still annoying. Gen 5. I hate these stupid cones. Okay. Is there a medic in here? Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Okay, let me make sure. 
Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I just didn't want to go rush into a battle. And then be like, oh, we didn't actually get healed. And then, you know, we get blown back. And then I rage. Uh, we're not even going to get the desert finished in this part. We've only battled, like, four trainers. So, I don't... I don't know, guys. I really don't. I hate, I hate the desert so much. I hate whenever the game has... Like, okay, I, I appreciate the fact they put a desert route in. But I hate that you get hit by the sandstorm all the time. Now, that would have been a good encounter, too. I would have definitely enjoyed having a sand dial. Though, in seriousness, he kind of makes Renzi moot, ignoring her, her Grass Knight, Grass Knot abilities. And of course, he's gonna pick a move that's gonna last freaking ever, and I don't think we can escape now, can we? Right? That's how it works, isn't it? So, yeah, we're in danger. It's the wild Pokemon. Six levels below us. Gen 5! I'm just gonna title this video Gen 5. Can I run? No? Can I switch? For the love of God, please. No? Can't? Cool. What I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Ruben out of the front. Even if, yeah, in this part I want him to evolve, there's no point. There's no point. It, this is just literally like. We're making it harder on ourselves for no reason. We just, we can't have somebody that slow out in front. Let me check to see who the fast Pokemon on our team is. 40, 42, 54. Well, hello? It's Renzi, really? Um, what? What? We'll put MatPat in the front. <laughs> I would have never guessed that Renzi was our fastest Pokemon. Uh, I'm just gonna try to get out of here. I'm sorry if the audio isn't annoying when I do this, but like, we haven't accomplished anything. So, uh, we gotta... It's up here, isn't it? An ether. That's nice, I guess. Burn, heal, why? Okay, okay. So we just got this trainer over here, and then that path up there, and we'll be officially on the left side. And we can go down straight, or the right side. Exciting, right guys? Timber! And we put my pad. <laughs> on. Oh. We're, we're not switching out. We're just gonna retaliate. Hope for the best. <laughs> Thank you, game. Thank you. I know, it's super effective. Uh, we're gonna switch to Crunch to save some PP. Because we don't have much uh, crunch, uh, retaliate PP. I'm gonna say Crunch. I basically said Crunch, I mean. Okay. All this for TM41 Torment, which we will never, ever, ever use. Which actually brings up a fair point. Um, we we got some TMs in the last, well, off screen. Uh, Torment, we just got here, but rest, attract. I think that's it, I think. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just keep saying yeah for no reason. Oh, it's the path to the left, isn't it? Fast forward a little bit. Map Pat, get out of there. I don't care if he has Intimidate, get out of there. Okay. Any items over here? No, did we already get the items over there? I assume we had to have, right? So fast forward. 
Again, I'm, I'm sorry if this sound is annoying, but like we haven't done anything. And we gotta go heal. I mean, we might as well, we're already over here. <sighs> I must say, this part's a pain in the butt. There's just some parts of Gen 5 where I feel like they just didn't design it properly, and it's just no fun. This is one of those mo moments. Mars. One of these Mars. Okay. Um, really? We barely stepped off. Come on, come on. Run. Jeez. Thank goodness we didn't try cramming this into the last episode. Because I think we're already like 25 minutes, I think. We might have to spend two parts in the desert. Which is just absolutely madness. Now this is a scary battle. Uh, Darumaka, very good. Very good, actually. We're just gonna go for, you know, the, the gullet. Give me that neck. Well, look at it. Watch. He's just eating. He's like, yeah, I like food. Chut him. Show him who's boss. You boss, Mad Pat. That's why you got like a bajillion subscribers, and I have 72. That and the fact somebody unsubscribed. A burn heal. Yay. Why are there so many? Oh, well, you know what? There are Daramakas here. I'm like, why are there so many burn heals? But I guess it does add up, doesn't it? Okay. An ether. If that's what the game wants to give me, I guess. Okay, let's back to this girl. My travel partner is a Pokemon, really? Really? Oh god, me. Yeah. Well, we have a map path for that. And we're gonna retaliate, and you're gonna be dead. Two hits. For some reason- oh! Oh, jeez. I feel like map path's been very disappointing for the most part. The move after you. What does that move do? The user helps a target and makes it use its move right after the user. I'm, I'm sure there's some reason why somebody would want to use that, but my mind is literally blanking out on why I would ever want to use that move. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, I assume the Rooney is faster, we'll put him in the front, but I'm not digging the fact we have to put low speed Pokemon in the front right now. But I think that's the path that leads to Nimbasa there. So we're actually pretty far through the, the route. Petalil, oh, I put Darunia at the front. what I was doing. I'm like, there's been a lot of grass types, and I got that fiery punch. So yeah. Well, I really hope the audio levels have been okay. I didn't even think about how far away from the mic I scooted back. But, eh. Now, let me pull the... Is there an item here? Oh, there's an item right here. I could even see it. Huh. Battle this guy. Oh, uh, the reason I gave Darunia the Eviolite versus Rog and Rolla versus Ruben is that my mindset was realistically uh, Rog and Rolla is so freaking slow that I feel like his speed bothers me more than his already good defense does. Even though I think it would help more if he was. Uh, up. It goes a little faster. Ooh, we get set up. Yeah, let's get rid of headbutt. That could be useful. 
we could work up, build our attack stat, start fire punching everything. Sorry, my nose has been very itchy. Hyper potion? Okay, okay, not bad. Not bad. PP? I definitely need to read all about how to use PP. The freeway. Okay. Now oh, this guy wants the battle. Okay, okay. We really want to get to the uh, the desert and make our two encounters there. That's really all I care about at the moment. Is if we can make those two encounters, we set. Because then we can remodel the team off screen. I can battle through the desert resort off screen. Because I mean, we're just really getting to the point of running low on time. Who do we want to send out? We'll send Ruben out there. But I'm also going to do this. Gen 5. But really, when you guys are thinking about this, right? We've used Rock Blast. I don't think we've used it a single time where it hit five times. We just sent him out here so we get a little bit of experience he needs so he can evolve. And the game's gonna make that difficult too. And we missed! Thank you. Come on, Rick. No, you, you have to actually hit him. I'm actually getting really annoyed with this. Because it's like everybody we're battling in here has been an annoying battle. But they don't want us to hit. And we have to sit here for like five minutes battling everybody. Rock Blast, can we get five hits, please? Please. I know we're sand attacked, but I don't care. Okay, we're switching out. Again. Again. Come on. Grass Knot. Thank you. This is ridiculous. Ooh, we buffeted by the sandstorm. Uh, let's send Raven out there. Which means we're still going to have a uh, rock and roll at X part. But it wasn't a crit, which still is interesting. Our lack of crits. We have a, a high critical hit ratio move with a high critical hit ratio nature and a high critical hit ratio item equipped. Why we aren't getting critical hits, I don't know. Okay, buddy. I'm glad it's a piece of cake for you. Come on, worker, Zach. Throw your Pokemon out. Timber, which has a rock move. So, he has something to beat every single one of our Pokemon right now. Oh good, he's going for Bide. Okay, that's not that bad. Um... Guess we heal. I'm just sitting here like, do we keep attacking? And now we just have to hope Quick Claw doesn't pop. <laughs> right? This game. And naturally it does. Wait, 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 did, did it over. Oh. So Quick Claw popped and he still went first. That's... Something I did not know was a thing. Let's go for Rock Blast. Can we get five? So we got one. We got the crit. That's that's nice. Two. Another crit. Okay. Three. Can we get the the? Trying to get the four. I just want to remind you guys okay, that Rock and Roll that we battled earlier used Rock Throw. They well uh. Rock Blast hit us five times. It's where we had to heal first turn. 
Thankfully, Ruben is going to evolve. That's good, that's good. Let's see what he evolves into. That's the A button. Ruben has been a very good addition to the team, I must say. But I want to say he evolves via trade. So we might just slap the Evil Light on him, actually. No. Boldor. Let's learn the move Power Gem. I feel like the special attacks going to be really low. We were at Rock Blast. I hate Rock Blast so much. But I'm pretty sure special attack is low. So let's investigate his stats. See what it's like. Yeah, special attack is still 20 below his regular. And his speed is still putrid. So... Who knows? Okay, um... What is this building? Ooh, dig. There we go. That's actually really helpful. Okay, so let's see if we can learn dig. Sorry if this part's getting a bit long, but, like, I really want to make those encounters. Dig is an 80 power move. Ruben can't learn it. Yo, somebody gonna have to explain that to me in the comment section. They are really going to have to. Uh, we'll get rid of Fire Fang. But Ruben having... Uh, Darunia having Dig is good too. Because I think Ruben is honestly my favorite in the team right now. In terms of... Like, he's actually really useful. I've been very impressed. So... We are officially in the Desert Resort. So, let's make our first encounter in here. And that first encounter is going to be... Dudes. We have Ruben in the front. Damn it. Mm. Actually, let's, let's see how strong Ruben is now. Well, let's use a good old Smackdown. The Quick Claw popped. Okay, okay. Smackdown. Hey, he O-Code, I am... As long as he can O-Code things, I'm okay with him. But we we are gonna switch the order of the team up. Uh, Renzi was the fastest. That way we don't have to worry about... The... Dubs, we can just run right away from him. And we get a Sand Dial. Um, my only problem with Sand Dial, especially now that we have Dig on Therunia... I guess we can remove, I mean, it's TM, so. My only issue with it is that we basically would have to get rid of Renzi to put it in the team. And then that means we lose our grass coverage. I will catch it. And, oh, here, guys. Yeah, check this out. I found some quick balls. So that should be taken care of. But I do think we will end up using it. I think he had Intimidate, because I think we went down. I would have preferred having Moxie, but like, you know, Intimidate's good. Yeah, so, people were complaining. People were, not, they weren't commenting. It sounds similar, but they were complaining to me about the crabby Pokemon they got to be when I named them. Ray said the moment he was a Panzer, he knew he was going to die. And to that, yes, 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 you did. And I completely believe that you knew you were going to die. So, we're going to name the Sand Dial after Ray. Can I make a pun out of it? No, not what we're just going to name him Ray. Ray 2. Okay, so, that's that. It looks like we have a double battle here. Let's... I'm trying to think what combo would cover the most. We're just gonna leave Renzi and Darunia out there. Are they not a double battle? Oh. 
Okay. Uh, nope, nothing down there. Okay. That was the Desert Ruins, though. Let's talk about that. Relic Castle. Okay. Trash that's empty. I just want to make... Oh. Well, okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do something scandalous, guys. And you might be opposed to it. But all of this crap that you can do here, I'm just gonna do off-screen. So... Desert battles are annoying. Like, remember we went back to Pinwheel Forest to do those. But at the same point, like, the Pinwheel Forest wasn't that bad. The, the desert, there's always a sandstorm going, and it's just, it slows us down and makes the battles drag. And I'd rather not have to do an entire video of us coming back here, just that way we can continue. So I'm going to do it off screen. I'm going to make this encounter though. So this is the Relic Castle. I believe we can make an encounter in here. I believe. Yeah, so our encounter for Relic Castle is... Sand Dial, which was dupes. So... I remember when I first played this game, I was like, how in the world do I get over this this thing? Oh, he's not gonna let us. Ooh. Oh. I wish I could remember what they were. The one is the water type. Plume. Plume is a fire term, right? Like, shh. Lava plume. This was the cover? Cover sounds defensive. The one is a water type. I'll just go with the cover. Used to swim in the agency? Okay, okay. Okay, that was really scary. But that gives us water coverage, so. I'm taking it. And now, oh, let's pick up these items. An elixir, wow. Okay, first encounter in Relic Castle is a Yamask. <laughs> it's a female Yamask. Because uh, <laughs> Renzi also complained. She's like, you keep saying I'm worthless. But I'm not gonna put a Yamask in my team, and Yamask is kind of worthless. So, I mean, I guess it's a good wall when it evolves, but we already have Boldor. So, this is like a really disappointing encounter, but, you know, it's a thing. Um, oh, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna name it Renee. Because, for one, I know Renee isn't watching. Even though she's subscribed, she's not watching. Two, uh, Ren... Oh, I went to dead. <laughs> I gotta remember to go grab that. Two, um, I want to say Renee's favorite Pokemon is... Gengar? I think? Don't quote me on that. But I think that's what it is. So, it's a ghost type. Cl close enough, close enough. Let's just make sure we pick up this item. Uh, revive. Okay, that's worthless to me. And the encounter doesn't matter anymore. We already made our encounter. Okay. I wonder if there's anything else in here that's not Yamask or Dubs. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Another Sand Dial, which we already have. So, yeah. Yeah, at this point, I think we're done the video. Off screen, I'm going to do... Oh, wow, there's the masks up here too. I'm gonna do the the desert ruin resort thing. I can stop running into wild Pokemon. But I'm gonna do the desert resort. I know I should do it on the screen, but the sand castle slows everything. The sand sand castle. The sandstorm slows everything down, and it's actually kind of annoying to me. 
I'd rather do it off screen. And next part we can go. And I don't know if we can battle Elisa right off the bat. I think there's a story to do before we do that. So we'll be doing the story there. And then maybe battling Elisa. And then the next part we will... Whatever after that. I, I don't know, guys. I don't, I'm kind of fumbling my way through it right now. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, if you want to be... It doesn't matter. I'll have already revived the files. I'll probably have recorded the next part. So yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out, home skillets.